is imperative that nurses get the optimal level of protection from Ebola. Stop Ebola now! Stop Ebola now! Stop Ebola now! I know we gotta have somebody here. Without proper equipment to take care of the patient, everybody is at risk, it's at danger. remarkably patient, and we're just going to go straight down the Republican aisle. We've trained over 250,000 people. What we need to do now, and that's part of what this request is about, is to make sure that that training continues and extends, and we need to measure it. Because what we are hearing, when we hear from the nurses, we want to make sure we respond. Do they know? Is the training working? Do they feel confident? And uh, you did a great job while you were trying to do several other jobs. We believe we have the right strategy in place, both at home and abroad. Again, similar to Canada, they're excellent. They're as good as you can get it. Uh, in part because we want to uh, raise awareness. We are here today to announce uh, a settlement with a Presbyterian Hospital uh, that will take care of all of the children uh, and the parents. And in addition, uh, we're very pleased that the Texas Health Resource Foundation has agreed to create a charitable trust, um, a charitable trust in the memory of Thomas Eric Duncan within one of its existing foundations. Are associated with preventable uh, errors in hospitals. Okay.